I'll, I'll uh, end this sermon with a short testimony. She was even told to close the door. Or, okay. The reason why the widow was told to close the door is for the non-believers not to uh, alter or not to disrupt the widow. Uh, last night, uh, we have shared about Judges chapter 7 uh, regarding Gideon. That the Lord told Gideon, those who are afraid, uh, you should send home. Why? Because uh, you cannot go to, uh, go to a war with an, a fearful army or fearful soldier. Why? Because it will contaminate. It will scare you as well. Huh? Additional casualties. <laughs> additional, additional casualties. So, uh, close the door for non-believers not to distract you, okay? Last, we need to have God's counsel. Okay? Proverbs 11, 14, where there is no counsel, counsel, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. I have read in the newspapers that there is this uh, one girl, 23 years old, who won 1.9 million from the lottery. Yeah. Have you read about that? Uh, she used to earn four something from working in the shop, and then when she when she won the lottery, 1.9 million. Do you think it was a blessing? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No. no. Her life became miserable after she won the lottery. Yeah. After that, she spent 20. Uh, 20,000 in the holiday. She keep on sending money as she got lots of it and then uh, she was involved in a relationship but the man was just after her money. She learned to use drugs and her life uh, ends up in a misery. Why? Because where there is no counsel, the people fall. Okay? Proverbs chapter 29 verse 80. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But in New King James translation, where there is no revelation, the people perish. Amen. If, uh, you know what? When it comes to problems, we always involve God in our lives. Agree. When it comes to prosperity, we do not always involve God in our lives. <laughs> Amen. So we need to have God's help. Okay, she came and told the man of God what happened. She was told to sell the oil and pay your debt. Do you know why not lots of people, or lot of people or persons that are still in debt? Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Okay, the amount of debt was, wasn't stated, but the lender has the right to take her songs. Why? Proverbs 22, verse 7, the rich rules over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. No wonder, sabi nila, tuta kay ng America. We're slaves of America. But why? Because we got lots of debts from America. That's right. That's right. So the borrower is a servant to the lender. Okay. Proverbs, uh, Psalm 37, 21, the wicked borrows and does not repay. Are I cool? But the righteous shows mercy and gifts. Hallelujah. What I'm trying to say here is I'm not those uh, who doesn't have the capability to pay. I'm referring to those who are blessed enough, they have the money to pay, but still doesn't pay. That's why they're still in debt because they don't pay their debts. Again, Psalm 37, 21, the wicked borrows, yes, we also borrow, but we, have, we know how to pay. But the wicked doesn't repay. But the righteous shows mercy and gives. So if we don't show mercy, if we don't know how to give, are we righteous? No. Mm -mm, I don't think so. We can. Okay? You and your sons live on the rest. Listen to this. Take my word. This is my own word, not the word of the Lord. According to my meditation, one of the major reasons why people are in death because they don't live on what they have. Yes, right. Do you agree with me? Amen. Okay, you and your sons live on the rest. Most of us do not live on what we have. We have too many wants which come to priority over our needs. We don't need particular things. We don't need a large TV. We don't need a new car. We don't need lots of things. But lots of people are having them on top of their needs. 
Para ba dahil di bali nang walang kain? Basta may kotse. <laughs> Pleasure over needs. So, they don't need, uh, they don't need on what they have. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 7, For we brought nothing to this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and clothing with this, we shall be content. Amen. Amen. If you don't need a car, don't buy a car. If you don't need buy, so, to buy something, as long as, I, I can say you don't need to buy a car, or even if you wanted a car, if you are able to buy, why not? What I'm trying to say, if you are, you don't need it, you just want it, and you don't have the capability to buy on that particular something, do not buy it. But lots of people are not like that. They buy things we don't, which uh, they don't need, and they don't have the capability to buy, that's why they're in debt. <laughs> Amen. Okay. I, I, I said, uh, I'm not sure uh, how many of you are in Facebook. <laughs> Why? Is Facebook a bad thing? I didn't say that. It depends on how much time you spend on it. <laughs> I have read this uh, shared video from YouTube about letter from him. Yeah. Have you read about that? Yes. Uh, that this person, uh, I forgot the name, but his name, his Christian friend was George. When he was, he had an accident, car accident, he was straight, the, he was sent directly to him. And he sent a letter to his friend, Christian George. He said, George, I thought you are my friend. We, we shared dreams together, we shared our finances together, but you didn't share your faith in Jesus to me. You are not my real friend. <laughs> we are just so busy with something else to do, we're just so busy with so many things, but you didn't even have the short minute to share to me about Jesus. That why, that's why he was sent to hell. Amen? <laughs> my personal testimony... Uh, <laughs> Regarding giving of tithes or paying tithes and offerings, it is my pleasure really to give what is due unto God. Mm. Amen. I'm not sure if you're having pleasure with it, but it's my delight, it's my pleasure, my joy to obey the word of the Lord. Mm. It's not easy for you to, if you don't believe in God, it's not easy to spend 400, me and my wife, 400 to 500 a month. To the, to the ministry or the, to the church funds. It's not easy, but I believe in the word of the Lord that if we give it unto Him, He will bless us more. Amen. 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 Uh, I, oh, sorry, uh, we didn't start 3 o'clock, we finished quarter past. I'm not sure if Sister Rose still remembered that when I was still in the Lord of the Nations, my whole first month as my First fruits, I gave it to the Lord. More or less, 80,000 in Philippine money. My wife as well, as, uh, as her first fruits, uh, maybe more or less, 60 or 70,000 Philippine money, we gave it whole to the Lord. Why? Because that's our first fruits. Amen. Not just 10% of our salary, whole month's salary. We gave it to the Lord. I would not say, I am rich right now, but you could not say to me, I am not blessed. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'm proud to accept I am not rich, but you could not say to me, I am under curse. Yes. Amen. Amen. I am not rich, but I have been blessed by God that within my heart, I got everything what I want. Amen. What I need. Amen. 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 I could not deny I still have this. <laughs> I, I do have this desk for something better to happen. But what I'm trying to say here is, the word of the Lord is true. Amen. 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 If we surrender our insufficient supply into His hands, the Lord will make it sufficient. Amen. Okay? Challenge? Do you have what you need to have? Are you thinking, oh, what are those again? <laughs> <laughs> what do you have in you? I have these. Okay. Will you trust God with your